Hello everybody and welcome back to SE Aviation. Today we're going to be doing the pre-flight setup for this Cessna 172. So we're here in the cockpit, everything's cool and dark, and we're going to set it up. So for that, I have a little surprise today. We're using the pre-flight checklist for the aircraft. This is the real uh, manual of the aircraft. It's certified by the FAA, but this um, content, I really prohibit from me to be used as training so this is not for real training not for real aviation just for aft kicks okay so let's continue but of course it's trying to simulate as much as it can the real life so pdo tube cover remove we cannot remove anything from the pdo tube but the pdo tube is this one that you see here pilots operating handbook available in the airplane well it's not available in the airplane but we have it here in this little window Sorry, this one that you can see um, on the right side of the screen. Airplane weight and balance, that's checked. We did that in the pre-flight in the home page of Explain. Parking brake is set. You can see here now that it's set. Let's continue. Control wheel lock removed. You can see it's removed because we can move the control wheel perfectly. Ignition switch, this one right here is off. Avionics master switch is off uh, if you want you can read that warning we're gonna continue master switch is on so battery goes on alternator goes on you can see you can hear it there fuel quantity indicators check quantity and ensure low fuel annunciators are extinguished so you have here that all fuel quantity indications are in the most fuel so we have 20 almost 26 gallons and the low fuel annunciator has gone. Avionics cooling fan. Check audibly for operation. Sorry, I forgot first to turn on the avionics. Then you cannot hear here in next plane, but you should in the real life. But okay, let's continue. Again, master switch off. A static pressure alternate source valve. Is this one right here? Sorry, this one. So you can see it's in the off position. Annunciator panel switch. Place and hold in position and ensure all annunciators illuminate. So that TST meant test. So we're gonna check. You can see it's tested, testing, and all annunciators illuminate. Good. Next page. So we see that all annunciators go off. Note, when master switch is turned on, some annunciators will flash for approximately 10 seconds before illuminating steadily. When panel test is switch is toggled up and held in position, all remaining lights will flash until the switch is released. Okay. Fuel selector valve, forward, checked. Fuel shut off valve is on, full in. Flaps extend. So we're gonna go ahead and extend the flaps. Pitot heat on. Carefully check that pitot tube is warm to touch within 30 seconds. So we're gonna turn on the pitot heat on. And at this point, you should walk out of the aircraft and check that flaps are down both and that the pit touch the pitot tube and check that it's warm in at least 30 seconds. Here we cannot check that, so we're gonna let it like this. Then pitot heat off and master switch off. So let's go back here. Pito heat off. And master switch goes off. You can listen to it. Elevator trim set for takeoff. It's set for takeoff. You can see here. Baggage door check. Lock with key. The baggage door here in this airplane is this one. That's right on the middle of the screen right now, the one that's left of the N172. You can see it's closed. We cannot secure it with a key, of course. Let's continue now. Autopilot static source. Opening if installed, so it's not installed. Then empennage. Rudder gust lock, tail tie down, control services, trim tab, and antennas. That's physical uh, contact with the airplane, so we're going to admit that as in your airplane you cannot do it because of the simulator 
then right wing trailing edge and right wing so also not also not fuel quantity fuel air cap you check it visually so you climb here on the aircraft and these two little red uh, covers you have to take them out and check fuel quantity I'm gonna omit that uh, also this left wing left wing wooden edge leading edge sorry left wing trailing edge and now before starting engine so our profile inspection is complete passenger briefing is complete well there's only one passenger seats and seat belts and just unlock ensuring uh, inertia real locking okay brakes which we're gonna check off and on circuit breakers check in electrical equipment is off caution the avionics masters which must be off during engine start to prevent possible damage to avionics okay so avionics masters which is off fuel selector valve is on both fuel shut off valves on avionics circuit breakers checked in let's continue starting engine with the battery so we here turn on the battery throttle open quarter of an inch mixture idle cut off propeller area is clear so what you do in the real aircraft right now is that you open your window or the, your door in this case and you shut out clear if nobody answers it means the propeller area is clear yeah crazy but it's true master switch goes on sorry i turned on it i turned it on before so now again on flashing beacon is on the beacon is this light right here on the top of the tail the red one it tells everybody that the engine is either running or about to start so if you're next to this aircraft and you see that flashing beacon turn on means that the engine is about to be started so get out of the way next note is engine is warm on its priming procedure of step six and seven so we're going to omit it because the engine is warm theoretically in this airplane auxiliary fuel pump is off it's this one you would use it if your your fuel pumps fail so let's continue ignition switch start and make sure it bends smoothly to reach when engine to start so what happens in the real aircraft with your left hand you will move this switch to the start position the next one right here and with your right hand you'll advance the mixture to on now in this aircraft I can use both hands so I have to use only one at a time so what I do is that I put first all the mixture in and then I turn on the engine you also can do it in real life but it's not recommended uh, also I wouldn't do it here in the airplane but because of the simulator thing that's why it happens so after that you can see that we're gonna check oil pressure navigation lights avionics master switch radios and flaps note if engine flaps turn off auxiliary fuel pumps 6 meter to idle cutoff open throttle one mix one half to full and motor crank engine when the engine starts set mixture to full reach and close throttle promptly okay so hopefully the engine won't flood so we're gonna go ahead and start the engine so engines are starting oil pressure checked navigation lights on avionics master switch goes on radios or on we're not using them today flaps retract and we're checking we're gonna check visually that the flaps were retracted which they are cool next page starting engine with external power so we're not starting the engine with external power so let's continue taxi and that's also for external power sorry so before takeoff parking brake is set passenger seat backs most upright position they are you also can and move it in the simulator cabin doors close and lock you do can move those ones so let's check they are closed 
good flight controls free and correct so you can see here they are free you can move them all the way in and so let's check visually left right you see it moves left right we well, really cannot see them elevator uh, in this view you cannot but you should if we change to this one I think no also not it doesn't matter just take a look outside elevator full up full down the rudder uh, you do can see the rudder from here so rudder full right and full left perfect so flight controls are free and correct flight instruments check and set so these are our flight instruments we're gonna do two things first one match our attitude indicator with the horizon S uh, sorry it was three things second set all our timer setting here in this case the altimeter is standard so we're gonna check set a standard and last match our heading which is this one right here with our compass in this case it's already matched but you have to so that it matches if it was not uh, then we have fuel quantity check mixture is rich fuel selector valves rechecks both it's very important that throttle so this is what we call the run-up so we're gonna do the, our run-up we put the throttle to 1800 rpm check that the brakes are in of course and we're gonna check the magnetos so we're gonna check the left magneto and we're gonna check that rpm draw should not exceed 150 rpm on either magneto or 50 rpm differential between magnetos so we're gonna look at our rpm indicator here is this one keep the eye on it and so if we take it to both you see where it is left again both right and again both so you see that there wasn't a drop of more than 150 rpm on either magneto nor 50 rpm differential between magnetos so check now the vacuum gauge is this one the one that says vac that indicates that there is vacuum being generated so that's good and engine instruments and ammeter so also this is our ammeter you can see it's checked and engine instruments we have pressure temperature fuel flow exhaust gas temperature perfect 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 annunciator panel ensure no annunciators are illuminated no annunciators are illuminated check throttle again idle and then throttle 1000 or less so let's keep it at nothing throttle friction so you check that with this little ring right here you can then move in the simulator so it's okay the strobe lights so we would turn the strobe lights on when we were going to take off we are not but you can take this checklist for your next flight radios and avionics check we are not using them now for gps switch if install set that is this switch you change it to nav or gps so that depends on your flight for navigation or for a uh, ground global positioning system autopilot if installed check is off so we do have autopilot installed is off this is when it's off on so you can see it's off manual electric trim if installed so we have no manual electric trim elevator trim it's set for takeoff wing flaps set for takeoff it can be 0 to 10 if the airport is very high or you have a very high gross weight you set it to 10 in this case we are good on weight so we're gonna take it to up brakes release and then on your takeoff you take the throttle to full open make sure rich path you lean it lean means do this take it a little bit before a little bit less before full and elevator control lift nose will at 55 knots of indicated airspeed so that means when this 
little thing here reaches 55 climb speed 7 to 80 knots of indicated airspeed and then retract wing flaps so that's it guys i hope you all enjoyed this pre-flight of the cessna uh, right now i'm gonna go ahead turn on my taxi lights and start taxiing to the runway so i hope you all enjoy this flight uh, or let's say better this youtube video <laughs> I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you next time with this aircraft. And so let's taxi to the runway and have fun. You there in your sims as well as me right now where I'm gonna take off. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.